This week in class, we talked a lot about global social issues. And in class, you had us write down our top three. And for me, that was climate change, women's rights, and education. And in this vlog, I wanna go a little bit more into depth of the women's rights. Now, this is something that I've always been pretty passionate about. I'm a self-proclaimed feminist. I am all for female empowerment. And this is actually an argument I got into my roommate not too long ago before I left for Sweden, where she was like, feminism's dumb and doesn't need to be a thing. And I was trying to explain to her, like, no, this is why feminism is a thing right now, and this is what they're fighting towards. And she was trying to explain to me that she did not feel oppressed. And as a white female in her demographic and in her little sector of the world, she did not feel that being a female hindered her progress or hindered her life in any way, shape, or form. And I was trying to explain to her that feminism is not just about America, and it's not just about the white females trying to get power and it's about overall on a global scale giving people their rights and women rights to their bodies and i gave her the example of okay so you know do you think that gender mutilation is okay and she goes of course not that's a terrible act okay well fe feminism is fighting towards ending that and i asked her do you think arranged marriages in india and other developing countries in asia where young teenage females are forced to marry middle-aged men is that okay and she goes of course not we shouldn't allow that to happen and i go that's feminism and i think something that kind of gets misconstrued with these global social issues is that when we view them in the context of our country in the united states of america they're very different than what they are on a global scale just like how feminism she's viewing these feminists in america pretty radical wanting to be equal to men and not seeing that some feminism are just fighting for the right to speak in certain countries. And I think along with that, with education especially, in this US, we have a pretty good education system where everyone is almost guaranteed a free high school education. Now that quality of the education varies from state to state, but you can get a high school education for free in the United States. But that's not how it is everywhere else. Obviously, some places like Sweden, have much more advanced education systems and have much more opportunities for you to continue on and grow more as a learner. But some countries, most females or even males for that matter, don't finish education because they have to go to work or they have to go and make money for their family. And even when education is an option, it's very expensive and not easily accessible. As we experienced during Forum said, trying to fight these issues isn't an easy task. What do you go for first? The right to vote? or the right to clean water. And that experience really made me think about how blessed we are as a nation that like, you know, I have the right to vote and I have the right to clean water and I am concerned about much smaller problems within my own life. And some people out there have legitimate concerns and I think it's great that there are organizations like this that are slowly trying to move forward and um, rectify some of these situations and bring democracy to some of these developing countries where they have little to no say in their government. That's all for this week's vlog. I'll talk to you next week.